Majesties, call forth Sir Ivar and Duke Moonwolf. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Grace. His Grace and myself both be that. Ask if it be a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. But three points of time, and play one more time. All points of candidate. Their Majesty summon Victor Loxan to dormant. Hail now! Here comes Victor Loxan to dormant. Witness! Stout limb! Star hearted! Witness! Storm born! Fire lighted! Witness! Commander heated! Champion proven! Witness, Mark Sable and Giles as warning and promise. Witness, my cousin, my kin, my friend, this day as always, a paragon. Witness him. Is there a royal pair will speak to the nobility of victory? I am Moonwolf, Duke Midrill. I have regard that is not lightly or quickly given, but observed over decades. Victor, the man who has faithfully served the crown, the kingdom, and its people from at least the reign of King William, he shares this regard with kings of the Midrill. This man has fallen. Is there a companion of the Laurel who will attest to Victor's skill in the arts and sciences? Your Majesties, I have a letter. To the Midrill Court, a word from Mistress Mary Cayley. Greetings to their Majesties and the honored people of the Midrill from Mary Cayley, Laurel, Pelican, and Baroness from the Kingdom of Trimeris. I owe a debt to the Middle Kingdom for the grace shown to me by your kings and queens, Mentor Laurel's Master Basilius Fulkers, and Mistress Heloise de Bergenstead, and a host of others. I offer these words to make small payments of that debt. I will speak of Victor's service to the arts. The path to peerage is different for each of us. Some Laurels have spent countless hours writing theses and hanging out in arts and sciences competitions. Some choose to spread their wings and create a broad spectrum of objects that add authenticity to our events and endeavors. Victor is an artisan like that. The list of his endeavors is lengthy. He undertakes these projects to create a more authentic background for events and to teach others that appearance, appearance and surroundings are possible for anyone. Some of his projects include calligraphy, researching absinthe, teaching people to make mace of garb, striking coins, researching Pompeii and providing dormice to the royal party, and making armor. As I said, we all have different reasons for pursuing the arts. Whatever your aspirations, let me encourage you to follow Victor's example. Make your art useful, use your art to help others fall in love with our little dream of chivalry. Make things you can be proud of, whether others understand them or not, and perform your artwork to have fun. Your Majesties, we need more members of the chivalry like me. Is there a companion of the Order of the Pelican who will speak to Victor's service? Yes, Your Majesty. I am Nisha Karina Petrova. Many people provide service when asked. Victor sees a need, a gap, something missing, and provides it, or makes sure it's provided so that the dream can continue. He inspires also others to do the same, not looking for grandeur or for acknowledgement. I am absolutely delighted that Victor is part of my life and part of my SCA because he makes everything so much better for me. Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of Defense who wants to Victor's 
Good morning. Hi, Your Majesties, if you will allow it. I'm Adam Mackay, Master of the Order of Defense. <coughs> I've known Victor for many years, and in those years, we have broken bread many nights. We've shared ale many nights. Several I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him grow, and I've seen him lift up others from the newest of fighters to the most experienced of fighters. I have seen him lift up our barony and your kingdom. I have fought next to him in the Dragon Horde out of Penzing many a times, and he has fought fierce. And he is a shining example of my period of medicines from this side. Thank you. Summon the members of our most noble order of the chivalry. Their Majesties summon the order of the chivalry. Noble sirs, having heard the words of the nobility of this, this kingdom, is it your judgment that Victor is worthy to be numbered amongst the orders of the chivalry, the prowess, loyalty, and courtesy? Aye. So, Sir Ivar, I believe he has something of yours. Victor, right mindful of your prowess on the field and the responses to the wishes of your peers, we are minded to make you a knight. Know that to wear the belt and the chain of a knight is to hold a sacred trust, that the obligations of knighthood will demand your efforts every moment of your life. A knight of the society must be respectful of all religions never offending the faith of a knight. A knight must respect all those who are weak or defenseless, whether because of aid, infirmity, poverty, or vow, and be steadfast in defense. A knight must love his kingdom and fulfill the most faithful duties of his people, duties of his baron and his king. His words must be dependable upon no doubt or question. <coughs> Never clean from the face of his bones, he must be generous to all, and always and everywhere, he must be a champion of the right and the good. The laws of the society and the customs of the kingdom require that a knight be proud, as you have demonstrated. You are among, as you have demonstrated, we are on the field. That a knight be courteous, as you have shown yourself to be, and as these nobles attest, and that a knight be loyal to his kingdom and the society. Do you desire to accept the burden of knighthood and swear fealty to the crown? Aye. Is there a belt? Yes, Your Majesty, there is. So, Victor, wear this belt as a token of your prowess. Are there chains? Their spurs. I Victor, 
Wear these spurs as an outward token of your new station. Is there a sword? Will fealty and pay homage to the crown of the middle. Never be a good knight against fruit. Reverent and generous, shield of the weak, obedient to my liege lord, courteous at all times, foremost in battle, and champion of the right and good. Thus swear I, Victor Lansant de Dormans. This, this do we hear and, and shall never, never forget. To be to your liege lord, rewarding guilty with love, scholar with honor, and oath breaking with, with justice. In remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation, be thou a good knight. Victor, as a sign of humility, be this the last blow that goes on into. You represent Sir Victor, Knight of the Society. Thanks, Sir Victor. Back there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. 